hi you guys i'm back with another video um she wanted me to start off with her hair already braided because her hair was kind of short so we're just going to get into applying the gossipy be free spray just to lay her edges back so everything could be protected and hardened and i'm going to blow dry and apply her ball cap and then i get back to you Okay, so right here, I'm going to um, put her wig on my mannequin head, on my canvas head, I'm sorry. And I'm going to use my, um, she is bomb wax stick. I'm using my wax stick so that all the baby hairs, all of the flyaways, everything will lay back. And when I pluck, because her wig is pre-plucked, but when I pluck, it'll like, basically you can see what you're plucking. So you won't over pluck because when the hair has like that little gap in it where it looks still thick, like it's going to always look thick. This how you fix that. So I just use my wax stick to flatten it out and take a hot comb and flatten it. So once I pluck it, everything will look like it's been combed back with a fine teeth comb and it'll be really flat and neat. And when I apply it, it like it's grown from her scalp because it's so fine at the root. Okay, so right here, I'm just doing a little cleanup on plucking because it was pre-plucked. So I'm just doing like, you know, the bigger pieces that were still kind of thick. Okay, so now I molded down her ball cap. I'm gonna cut out her ear tabs and all that good stuff. Um, she brought her own ball cap. You guys is wondering like where you can get that tan color one from. But I usually get mine from Amazon. They're like $6.99 for a 12 pack. I'll leave the link in the description below.
So I'm just gonna cut off our excess cap and then I'll come back to you guys with gluing and all of that. So right here, um, I didn't apply like any excess makeup on her cap. I used the makeup off the brush that was already on there because I used um, Ruby Kisses like I think level 12 or 13, one of those levels. But um, it was too dark for her skin color so I just applied like whatever was left off the brush just so I know it'll blend perfectly. And also I'm going to do the same thing to the inside of her wig. I actually did apply more makeup on, onto the brush for the wig. I only did it lightly though. So it shouldn't like, you know, look too dark for her skin or anything. It'll be perfect. Um, I would recommend using lace tint on my lighter clients only because of the fact that you don't want to come out too dark. But sometimes lace tint doesn't hold. So I think Ruby Kisses, like, it'll work out better. It de just really depends on your preference. Um, I'm using the Boho Active. It holds better than the regular Boho because of the, um, I think it's waterproof, like water resistant or whatever. So it really does hold better. I am just applying the glue to the tip of her cap just so that it can lay down. And then I'm going to smooth it out and then apply it, you know, on her actual hairline. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to let her hold down the size of her lace while I cut out her ear tabs so that it won't lift anything or it won't just, you know, shift like the glue won't shift and it starts looking tacky. I'm just applying the finishing touches with the bowl hole for any uh, lifting pieces and I'll also do the same for after I cut it. Uh, I'm using my uh, eyebrow razor to cut the lace off just so it won't be so, uh, such a defined cut. When you cut with scissors, it gives like this really defined cut and it really looks like kind of like you can really see the lace once you cut with scissors depending on how you cut. But I just use the razor because it's easier and I can get closer without uh, having to cut my clients.
just for a second i want you guys to get into her legs it's blending perfectly with her skin you know you know like i was saying earlier i'm just going to use the tip of my um fine tooth comb and dip it inside the ball and apply it to the pieces of lace that are lifting just so it'll melt better and like it won't have any riggy edges and it won't look white um i advise you guys not to use your fingers to press the lace inside the glue it makes it look really really tacky like um it almost glue on your hand and something it really looks horrible Okay, so um, we probably can't see, but I'm using an elastic band to tie around her lace just so I can get that perfect melt. Um, you can purchase these from like Walmart or any craft store. You can also purchase uh, a band from your local beauty supply store. They should have some there too, but I really like these because they're really thin and they sit on directly on top of the lace. Like It pushes the lace back to give it that really natural look. So now I'm just I'm gonna start styling the wig. I'm sectioning her hair into pieces so I can bump it under. I'm using my um, Revlon. I think they're Revlon or Con Air. I'm using my um, Revlon or Con Air flat irons from Walmart. You can purchase these. They're like forty dollars. I'm also gonna use my um, pink spray, a pink missing spray. You probably can't see that, but I can leave the description to it in the um, box below. It really helps with the flyaways and all that. Um, I'm also using my carbon fiber cone, you guys. Carbon fiber cones are the best.
I'm just gonna do a little trim here. I think um, when she purchased the wig, the girl who wore it before, or well, who she bought it from, because the wig was never worn, I think that she tried to actually cut it herself or fix it. It's uneven, but not so badly, but it just was uneven on her head, maybe with the wig placement or something. But it wasn't really, you know, noticeable. I just fixed it because I could see how it was laying on her shoulder. I'm using um, some shears. I got it from my sister. She's in cosmetology school. I just wanted to show you guys after the meltdown, if you can see how she's leaning in, her hair is melted. I'm going to start parting out her hair for her baby hairs. Um, I'm trying to do bigger baby hairs, bigger but thinner, so that she doesn't have too many on her wig. So I'm just going to take out longer sections, but not as thick. I do my baby hairs I use a Nairobi phone um, I try my best to put as much on there so I can use do it really lightweight and I don't have to be so heavy-handed on the baby hair so the lace won't lift it's really easy um I prefer using my edge brush the comb sometimes work depending on how good the lace is laying down but I really just use my edge brush so that like the comb won't lift the lace or anything or just snatch it up or something I'm going to use my extends uh, silk route to tie her baby hairs out and to dry it. Um, I know y'all can't see the words because they fell off. I peeled them off when I kind of got bored. But I sell these on my website. If you guys would like to purchase, you can go to my website at extendsthecollection.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. Even this is great. Last thing on the baby hairs, once I get them to dry, I'm going to use some Gas to Be Free Spray just to fix them a little bit and so they can be shaped and more defined uh, but still look kind of soft. Um, I'm using the Free Spray just to help with shaping because sometimes when you use the foam, the foam makes the hair stay wet and it don't dry completely. So I use the um, 
got to be free spray and it really just holds them really nicely and they won't lift and the lace won't lift after you apply the Nairobi foam just because you don't like really know how to use the foam and your lace is lifted you can use the spray to lay it back down and to do your baby hairs without those slipping off of I want to thank you guys for watching my video. You can like, comment, and subscribe for whatever new videos you would like.